forte. All right, first thing I want you to do is all those of you who are uh, here live will get automatic, but uh, I have no problem with you having an extra day or two, several days. Bond to, but most of the time it's several questions. Could be three questions, could be assignment, or you, a link is not working. You're, you're right in the right place, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it, it helps a lot. Um, probably, that's 10, I think. And here's how I feel. And you can comment it if you want to, but we're not going to, you know, it's not a discussion you know, what it's like, and to join up some concepts, you know, you learn bipolar. And both uh, conditions, mania and uh, sensory perception, which means perception from outside of the senses, and the study of ESP is usually called um, parapsychology. And parapsychology is uh, how we study they're actually doing this. Which one of this would this be? Telekinesis. Okay, what is telekinesis? R-E-M, which stands for what? Rapid eye movement. Rapid eye movement, very good, that's right. And it's also called something else. Physical sleep. Say that again. You were cut off at first. What did you say? Paradoxical sleep. Yes, paradoxical sleep. So it's called paradoxical sleep uh, because, you know, in the PowerPoint, um, to focus in because, you know, we've covered it all already in class, but what I've talked about tonight is what's going to be on the test. So go back to the book now. You know, it's always a good idea to read the book before class so that you know what's going on in class. I can describe what they said was boring. And they had one group that was not paid to lie, and they went out and described it as, as uh, interesting and, 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 you know, lie, and then come back, and they were surveyed again. And, uh, you know, which one had a change in their attitudes and which one didn't have a change? 